on ABC and KATU Portland. Good evening. The worst is apparently yet to come in the oil crisis. The United States and six other industrial giants are banding together now in face of a new blow from the OPEC oil cartel. The seven leaders of the world's most industrialized nations argued over oil prices until the very end of their summit meeting. Just before the breakup of the meeting, the American plan was accepted. It calls for a ceiling on oil imports. In the United States, we would import the same amount of oil in 1985 as we do now. We will have five years to expand import slightly and then scale down. The regulations would amount to a freeze on imports by that date. The agreement means less oil will be imported, but it does not necessarily mean rationing is inevitable. Meanwhile, radical Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi is threatening to cut off his country's oil for five years. He's angered by what he calls pressure from the West, and he has called for the other OPEC nations to do the same. Libya supplies about 10% of our oil imports. Kathy? Gas supplies already getting tighter in Oregon tonight, even before the impact of the Big Seven's new plan. The state's largest supplier of gas says it's cutting back even more in July, and the outlook from other suppliers looks just as bleak. Reporter Bill Van Amberg has more. This past week has been a bad week for gas. It's the end of the month, gas lines worse than usual, and many stations just plain running out and closing up shop. But we may be seeing even more of that in July than we did in June. Today, Chevron Oil, which supplies more gas to Oregon than any other company, said they'd be cutting their shipments here from 90% of normal back to 85%, a big cut from the biggest company. Even though they'll produce 2% more fuel than a year ago, the problem is priority customers get that fuel. What it means is less gas, and dealers just trying to make do. What'll happen probably is, instead of having a two-shift gasoline sale during the day, like in the morning and the afternoon, I'll probably end up with just a morning shift sale and not have an afternoon sale. Uh, it's not for certain yet, but I think that's probably what'll happen. How serious do you think it will get at all? I don't think it'll have that much more effect on the marketplace. 5% uh, is not gonna make that much difference uh, over the state of Oregon, I don't think. Oregon has faced no bad problems as yet, but Oregon drivers are going to have to make do as well. Union Oil says they're cutting back from 90 to 85 percent in July. Arco and Texaco will stay the same. But Arco's already running at 85 percent, and Texaco dealers are struggling through on a scant 70 percent as is. The weekend outlook for gas in Portland and across the state is not good either. Over 90 percent of stations on some routes may be closed Sunday. July's cutbacks won't be near as bad as some months have been, but they may be getting close to a level all of us will have to be getting used to if President Carter's plan to cut back on foreign oil use is to work. From Northeast Portland, Bill Van Amberg reporting for Channel 2 News.